There were leaked rumors in chapter 1082, which dropped a bombshell. It said that Garp defeated Blackbeard and proclaimed himself a pirate. This led to Teach's downfall and the Navy having no choice but to give Garp his first ever bounty. The leaks hinted at Garp possibly forming his own crew with a navigator, swordsman, and cook. And I don't know if it's just me, but that seems oddly familiar. Now, that has less to wonder about Garp's future. Will he attain the level of Yonko, form a strong pirate alliance with members of the world's generation, or go solo and lead his own pirate crew? I'm sure we're all eager to see what happens next. With Monkey D. Garp at the forefront, both pirates and marines will have a lot on their plates. Let's dive in. Let's go back in time where the New World sent chills down our spines with a major event that happened. Kobe got kidnapped by Blackbeard after causing trouble on Amazon Lily. Garp didn't care about any warning and sailed to G-14 and Hachinosu, ignoring Vice Admiral Dahl's advice. He brought Sword and Tashigi for a gusty rescue. He made it clear Kobe was a big deal for the marines. Garp using Conqueror's Hockey went all out with a galaxy impact, wrecking the whole island landed with a bit of rusty flare, he faced off with the Blackbeard Pirates. Garp squaring up against the icy Kuzon demanded Kobe's freedom. Then there was a clash that got Carp flexing his armament and observation hockey. Chaos reigned as he tossed San Juan Wolf into the sea and shielded Kobe from Shiryu. Then, in a face-off against Bizarro's massive hand, Garp told his crew to handle it. Escaping the island, he faced off against Kuzan again and showed his unstoppable spirit. Then, things took a wild turn when Garp got nailed in the chest by Kuzan's ice. In the middle of that danger, Garp's laugh struck around, which made fans wonder what's next for the marine legend. Like, what's gonna happen? Does Garp die? Because the day after, the newspaper dropped a hint about a disappearance on Pirate Island. But wait, what's really going on here? Because in the picture, it looked like things were freezing up. Look at it this way. If there is a glimmer of hope, things might just turn out okay. So the whole, is he alive or not thing? So in this hypothetical scenario, we are answering those questions. In a parallel universe where Garp chooses the life of a pirate over a marine, the One Piece universe would be drastically different. Garp, known for his immense power and sense of justice, would have been a formidable pirate. His crew potentially included Senko. Goku and Tsuryu, who might have followed him into piracy, would have been a force to be reckoned with. They would have been the rivals of the Roger Pirates. As a pirate, Garp would have been the enemy of the world government, which would have put Dragon in a difficult position. Would he still have formed the revolutionary army to oppose the world government, or would he have joined his father's crew? Probably, Dragon might never even have met Luffy's mother, and Luffy might not even have been born. First off, wave goodbye to Luffy. With Garp chasing treasures instead of playing dad, no Straw Hat crew exists. No Luffy means no revolutionary army. In this alternate timeline, where Garp sails the seas as a pirate, the whole Marineford arc would have been a different story. Remember the epic clash revolving around Ace, Goldie Roger's son, who Garp adopted? Well, if Garp took a different path and didn't adopt Ace, the whole lead up to the war could have gone down a completely different way. Sure, conflicts between the Marines and pirates would still be on the horizon, I mean, it's the grand line. There could be a massive showdown, but who's in the ring and what's at stake might flip on its head. Maybe it's Garp's crew taking on the Marines. That would be a different ball game entirely. Remember Kobe, right? Well, he's still cleaning decks on Alveda's ship. Without Luffy around, Kobe's just stuck scrubbing away forever. The dreams of becoming a Marine? Poor guy's just wiping the deck, dreaming of a life that seems out of reach. But what about Zoro? Without Luffy to save the day, Zoro's execution becomes a sun-soaked death sentence. No more pirate hunter Zoro, no brilliant swordsman ruling the seas, it's a pretty bleak scene. And guess what? The craziness doesn't stop. Without Garp supporting the Marines, Crocodile takes control of Alvasta, NL keeps zapping Skypea, and Doflamingo goes wild in Dressrosa. Garp as the Pirate King? Nah, he's more like the Chaos Maker. Diving deeper into the alternative One Piece saga where Garp's pirate shenanigans keep shaking things up. In the original One Piece timeline, the Straw Hats encounter Thriller Bark and face off against the spooky world of zombies and Gecko Moria. However, in this alternate saga, we've got Garp and his crew crashing in the Thriller Bark. Instead of the Straw Hats, it's the Garp Pirates trying to outweird the bizarre world of the undead. Now, let's move to Water 7. In the actual series, the Straw Hats deal with the CP9 and the whole Ennis Lobby saga. But in this alternate tale, Garp, always one for shortcuts, stumbles across the secrets of Pluton. In Ennis Lobby, Luffy faced off against CP9's powerful agents to rescue Nico Robin, while the government initiated a buster call, bringing chaos to the island. In this alternate timeline, Garp crashed in like a marine wrecking ball, confronting CP9 with his fist of love. The buster call became unnecessary, as Garp's chaos alone was enough to shake up the place. Oh, and Sabadee Archipelago? In the original One Piece story, the Straw Hats had a tough time here. 
dealing with the Celestial Dragons and Admiral Kizaru. Luffy and his crew were separated, which gave them a whole lot of challenges. So, no Straw Hat separation drama. Instead, Garp throws a wild pirate party, inviting all the supernovas for a Davy back fight. They decide the new rulers of the New World in a fun and crazy way. However, Garp would be present at Wano when Garp's pirate crew show up and challenge the Shogun to a sumo wrestling match instead of a traditional sword fight. The samurai are left scratching their heads as Garp throws them into an impromptu dance off to decide the fate of their country. Now, let's move on to Garp's crew, the wild bunch causing chaos in the seas. All right, let's break it down. Garp's crew is a mixture of tough and quirky characters causing a ruckus of the sea. Tashigi, once a marine in the original timeline, now swings swords with a rebellious pirate vibe. Sword members would definitely be part of the crew. It would be interesting to see them bring out chaos in Blackbeard's crew. But it's not all serious. Imagine Brooke, the skeleton musician, jamming out as they sail across the seas. Let's consider the other crew members who will be joining him on all these dramas. Blaze as the Navigator This fierce firecracker of a navigator steers the ship through the wildest seas with a smile. Blaze and Garp share a taste for thrill that keeps the crew on their toes. Rock Steady the Tank Meet the behemoth right-hand man, loyal as they come and strong enough to make a kraken think twice. He's Captain Garb's muscle, always up for a rumble on the high seas. Whisper the Spy Slippery and sly, whispers the shadow of the crew, the master of intel, navigating shadows. This mysterious spy keeps Garp's crew steps ahead in the pirate game. Bubbles the Shipwright Our shipcrafting wizard with a flair for the eccentric. Bubble's unconventional vessels are the perfect match for Garp's unpredictable pirate style. Expect the unexpected on the open sea. This will be super interesting. Jolt the Gunner. Blink and you'll miss it. Jolt is the lightning quick sharpshooter nailing targets with sniper precision. With Jolt on board, Garp's chaos comes with a side of pinpoint accuracy. Serena as the medic. In the midst of this madness, enter Serena, the cool-headed medic, keeping her crew patched up in the midst of the chaos. She's the secret weapon ensuring everyone lived to see another outrageous adventure. This crew, a lively mix of personalities, paints Garp's pirate tale with layers of surprise, laughter, and of course, a dash of pure chaos. This crew is definitely going to be a powerhouse amongst other pirate crews. They'd go head to head with any crew out there. Garp's name alone, even as a pirate, would send shivers through the entire world. Depending on Garp's leadership style, they could be like a tight-knit crew like the Straw Hats, or a massive fleet like the Whitebeard Pirates. Either way, they'd pack a punch. The world government would slap hefty bounties on the Garp and the crew. Strength and rebellion tend to earn you some wanted posters, after all. So, in a nutshell, Garp's crew would be a big deal in the One Piece world, shaking things up and challenging the norm. And that's a wrap on the alternate pirate stories of Garp and his crew, shaking things up in the sea in ways we've never thought possible. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that like button, drop a comment with your thoughts, and make sure to subscribe for more One Piece adventures in our alternate universe. See you in the next one.